Welcome dear listeners. Here in this module we'll start with the poem Small Pain in My Chest. The American writer John Steinbeck once said, "All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal." Here the writer is trying to convey the futility of war and the selfishness of human being to claim over each and everything human beings want to claim over each and everything that they start waging war against each other forgetting that not only the losing side but even the winning side loses its men life property and livelihood there's destruction on both sides and results in the loss of innocent lives had men not been so selfish as to start waging wars against each other this earth would have been a much better place to live on many writers and poets have written about the meaninglessness of wars and how they only result in the loss of innocent lives read this poem about the plight of a wounded soldier as he slowly loses his hold on life this poem tells us about a soldier who has fought in a war and is now lying in a wounded position he is on the verge of his death he is about to lose his life but not his courage here he keeps referring to the pain in his chest as small but is it really a small pain let's find out The soldier boy was sitting calmly underneath that tree. In the very first line of the poem, the protagonist of the poem has been introduced. The soldier who has just fought in a battle is sitting underneath that tree and see it has been mentioned that he was sitting calmly. As I approached it I could see him beckoning to me Here I refers to the speaker of the poem As the soldier saw a person passing by he called him The soldier called the speaker of the poem I could see beckoning to him means that the speaker could see that the soldier was calling him the battle had been long and hard and lasted through the night the battle which the soldier had just fought was quite a long one and it was not easy wars are never easy they are full of blood violence and loss of lives it was a hard battle and it lasted through the night it went on throughout the night and scores of figures on the ground lay still by morning's light the night's over the morning has arrived there's light and in that light the soldier and the speaker could see so many dead bodies lying on the ground these are the dead bodies of the soldiers who fought in the war look at the expression scores of figures the number of dead bodies was so high that you couldn't even count once these soldiers die 
their dead bodies are left to rot under the sun in the battleground just imagine how pathetic the situation is wars are never fruitful they always end up destroying both sides which are involved in a war wars can give nothing but devastation and can never mean anything good to anyone i wonder if you would help me so he smiled as best he could here the soldier is asking for the speaker's help i wonder if you'd help me so he smiled as best as he could here the soldier is trying to hide his pain underneath his smile he tried to smile as best as he could in order to hide his pain from the speaker a sip of water on this morn would surely do me good and the soldier is not asking for much except a sip of water he is thirsty he is tired and he asks for a sip of water on that morning from the speaker morn means morning we fought all day and fought all night with scarcely any rest this means that on the last day and the previous night the soldiers were fighting in the war that they didn't have any rest they fought all day and all night long with scarcely any rest a sip of water for i have a small pain in my chest here the soldier tells the speaker that he wants nothing except a sip of water and he's feeling thirsty right now and he tells the speaker that he has a small pain in his chest just look at the courage of this man he fought the entire time for his army and now he is lying in a wounded position yet he is smiling he is trying to hide his pain he does not tell about his situation to anyone he does not reveal his pain just look at his strength and what is he asking just a sip of water if that isn't bravery then we'll never know what bravery is even in this situation he is trying to maintain his calm as best as he could and he is doing a wonderful job at that let's move on to the next paragraph as i looked at him i could see the large stain on his shirt here the speaker of the poem is speaking and he says that when i looked at him when the speaker looked at the soldier he could see the large stain on his shirt the shirt of the soldier was stained all reddish brown from his warm blood mixed in the asian dirt that stain was the stain of the soldier's blood he was wounded in the war and that large reddish brown stain was of his blood mixed with the local dirt of the dirt of the ground on which he had been fighting for his men not much said he i count myself more lucky than the rest they are all gone while i just have a small pain in my chest even in this situation the soldier is saying 
that he finds himself luckier than all of those people who are lying dead in that battlefield he says i count myself more lucky than the rest he is trying to find positivity even in this situation he thinks of himself as the luckier one because he is alive while the rest of them are dead they are all gone all the men that he can see in front of him lying in the battlefield are dead while i just have a small pain in my chest he is referring to the pain that he has in his chest as a small one he's trying to hide his pain as best as he can what the soldier is trying to say is that in front of the condition of all those dead soldiers his means nothing considering the fact that he is still alive means that he is luckier than the rest it's just he is a little wounded according to the soldier it's nothing but a small pain and let's just appreciate the courage of the soldier even in his own wounded position he is trying to console the speaker don't be worried i am all right just think of me as the luckier one than these rest of the people who are dead now i just have a small pain in my chest i am only a little wounded and that's all right even in this situation he is trying to console the speaker he's not thinking about himself